say that they want national vote in uh, vote by mail registrations. And we've got another story to cover. I've been trying to cover as many as possible to let people know that uh, voter fraud is real, and especially when it comes to mail-in ballots. This uh, story comes from a non-citizen. People all the time they say, "Well, non-citizens." Okay, let's let's call them what they really are. They're here illegally. They're illegally in our country, uh, and uh, the the Democrats just continue to want to cater to them. Well, this story comes from a non-citizen steps forward to tell how. Oregon automatically registered her to vote via motor veil, voter motor veil, uh, voter bill and vote by mail. They automatically registered her to vote. A non-citizen has stepped forward and exposed how the state of Oregon is making it incre incredibly easy for people like her to vote. She has now received mail-in ballots for five separate elections. But remember, the Democrats say, oh, voter fraud doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't exist and mail-in voting is the way we should go. She was a she was registered through Oregon's motor voter law without her requesting uh, that she be registered. She had a terrible time getting them to remove her name from the role of voters in the state. How many Ill ineligible voters will get will get to cast ballots in 2020 is my question. I think there will be potentially millions all across this country. Personally, I have no doubt this was intentional, as it is in so many other blue states. That is why we refuse to clean up. Uh, that's why they refuse to clean up the voting rolls in their states, even though they are required to by law. It was revealed thanks to a non-citizen who wishes to remain anonymous. Talk about courage of this individual, uh, but still made sure she did she did the right thing and notified the state that she is unable to vote due to her status. How many individuals? Uh, around the country are here illegally are getting are also getting vote by mail registrations and then having the ability to sway potentially sway some of the seats that were not won by very uh, so there's lots of seats around the country that were not won by a large margin you add into it voter fraud with individuals that should be allowed to vote and we could absolutely see uh, something take place that we shouldn't have to see if we just had a national voter uh, voter ID law What's wrong with a voter ID law? You need an identification to do pretty much every and anything else that you need to do in this country. You can't buy a, 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 a airplane ticket. You can't drive a car. You can't rent a car. You can't dang near go to the movies and purchase a movie ticket in some places without an ID. They want to see your ID, especially if you're using a credit card. So when it comes to casting a vote for who should be the ones representing our regions, our states around this country, I think it just makes sense, friends. I think it absolutely makes sense and it's something that we should all be pushing for. Well, we've got some more information now about... Uh